Hey there folks, Wacky Weather Man. How y'all doing today? Well, this is about almost morning time. Um Oh, I'm not doing much of anything, just hanging out in bed here for a little bit. Fixing to fixing to get up under these uh whatchamacallit things. And we're gonna check out the weather. Cause well, it's been a while. It's actually been a while since we've actually checked out the phone we're going to check out the wpsd radar app and the accuweather and stuff and just see you know what's going on so uh this will be january 17th 23 ah there we go the radar app okay like i said we used to do this So far, the forecast is holding true. We are now actually halfway through meteorological winter, if you could believe it. That runs from December 1st through the end of February. Right. And just specifically from January 1st through today, so the first half of February, we're at the second warmest first half of February on record. Quite impressive, to say the least. And dating back since December 1st now, so, we've had a so lack of out. cold nights. And this is even more remarkable because this is including the cold spell around Christmas, which was historic. We've only had 15 nights this winter so far, 30 degrees less than All right. in our region. So yeah, That's so the this second is, least on record. Just, you got to go back to 2019. We only had 14 through this point, 25. So yeah, we're just the checking out the weather. Don't see a lot of cold nights coming anytime soon. Doesn't look like till maybe the last few days of the month, maybe early February, that the pattern really will start to change for at least a little bit. Out maybe. there tonight, some showers. So, winter, so it's not out of the question. Of this is done. That, now, there will uh, be a big spread be, uh, tonight, probably about coming back, to but. 42. Northwest counties, probably in the mid-50s tonight in the Penny Ryle in northwest mm -hmm. Tennessee. Tomorrow, hey, the sun will come out. It'll be terrific. Upper 50s yeah. to mid 60s so for highs. Later now, this tomorrow morning. night, clouds quickly increase from the west. Out the so, door to work and school like Wednesday said, morning, you're videos. probably dry, very many but it's a cloudy to, uh, start. Not very many and temperatures show. will slowly rise during we'll the morning and they rapidly one. rise in the afternoon. Now, what's going to go on Wednesday is a warm front will come in from the south. And south on the anything. other side of the front, so at this point, the warm front would be about here, there'll be showers we usually and don't get anything just anyway, general so thunderstorms that form 3.30 Wednesday, 4 or 5 o'clock. So if you have plans to be out Wednesday afternoon, you're going to need the rain gear. Now, I want you to notice here, I'll stop this at about 6.30 Wednesday, 46 degrees in Mount Vernon. 66 in Dyersburg. So you're, the flag should be going up that there's something going on here. And there's something going on is <laughs> a warm front draped basically along the Ohio yeah, River. Like and it's said, along that in south, there is a risk know, for a maybe. strong or severe thunderstorm. And notice here at 8 o'clock, uh, still but that mixed know. spread in temperature. We're pushing 70 in Tennessee, upper 40s in southern Illinois. The risk if we do get a severe storm would be for a brief tornado and maybe some small hail. Not like the hail we had last week. Now, I do think the risk probably will be maximized in northwest Tennessee. This model really fires off what would be a severe storm coming in towards the Stewart County here in Tennessee about 10, 11 o'clock on yeah. Wednesday. Then this is all out of here by midnight it seemed like that Thursday. So to repeat, in the, the window of Kentucky. opportunity to watch is about 5 p.m. to midnight, Jumping James. 5 p.m. Wednesday a lot of to 12 a.m. Thursday. And here's what it looks like on a bigger view with the fronts drawn on it. Here's what I mean by being on the other side of the front is at 5:30 Wednesday the front is only about to Fulton County Kentucky on this side of the front this is just general rain and storms it's along and south of the front that the air will be coming basically straight from the Gulf of Mexico and there will be a tremendous amount of wind shear in this region the reason why the severe weather risk is low is because we don't think there'll be a ton of instability that develops but should any develop in a storm form like this one here, maybe this one here, certainly they could produce a tornado or two or a damaging wind gust again Wednesday evening. But the threat will probably only come to about Paducah. Southern Illinois folks, Cape Girardeau folks, will probably be totally free of that threat. Yeah, Wednesday probably. Evening. Because Am I worried about it at this quite point? A bit, no. Because quite well, a bit. Let's keep an eye on it. Yeah, because we, again, if we, we get really, any more increase half the time we don't get anything anyway. So. so let's keep an eye on that for Wednesday we'll do, But we'll keep an eye out on it. We'll, that's, what the, on that's what the job of the wacky weatherman is here for. On Saturday, next chance the rain probably comes in for Sunday. Good deal of clouds and showers with a high of 47. 47. Coming up in sports, Cardinals. It might seem like a minor injury, but at the Bryant Law Center, we know minor injuries can have a major impact. All right. Our that, office, this video right here, this one here, the, the bottom one, that's what was here this morning, so we don't need to 
we don't need to watch that. But anyway, yeah, we're uh, we're checking out my phone. Got got all my apps. Got a bunch of apps, don't I? <laughs> um, so, but hey, man, let's check out the uh, let's check out the AccuWeather and see what that's going to be tonight. And oh, we was going to go back and we was going to check out the check out the WPSD thing and let y'all see what that looks like. Here's our current temps and all this stuff. Here's radar. Not doing anything. The little there's a little bit of stuff over there. Y'all can see. Zoom in on it. Yep, it's uh, so it's pretty uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, okay, there we go. But here is. I'll let you all see this. Yeah, there's nothing down there. There's nothing down there in the app for the, that y'all can get excited about. So, <laughs> it'd be nice. Yep, there's the WPSD radar app. All right, uh, all right, y'all. That's going to probably conclude that. Let's check out the uh, AccuWeather here. I'm going to turn on my talk back. Talk back on. AccuWeather. Open navigation drawer button. Hourly. Tab daily. Tab hourly. Let's see what it looks like. Hourly. hourly. Select. 4. 5 a.m. 48 degrees. Real feel 45 degrees. 1. 6 a.m. 45 degrees. Real feel 42 degrees. 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 44 degrees. Real feel 42 degrees. And? 9 a.m. 46 degrees. Real feel 46 degrees. So it's not really. 2 p.m. 60 degrees. Real feel 61 degrees. This is going to be going to get up about 60. 4 p.m. 59 degrees. 3 p.m. 61 degrees. Real feel 62 degrees. So basically, it's going to feel like it's 62 outside tomorrow. 2 p.m. And then. 3. 10 p.m. 47 degrees. Real feel 46 degrees. So anyway, that's. Uh, Double tap to activate. That's what that is. But anyway, y'all. Uh, wacky weatherman here just Talk coming in all. here sharing some of my night all right and i'll close out of these apps there's my uh screen recorder app for my phone here but anyway so yeah thanks for hanging out here with me today uh wacky weatherman january 17th 2023 wacky weatherman and i'll see you all later in the daylight in the morning hours in the daylight hours and we'll continue this uh, wacky weatherman thing. So why not? We'll uh, we'll start doing videos like this because it's it's cool to see uh, videos like that. All right, all right, y'all, wacky weatherman, y'all be groovy, and I'll see you in the next. Uh, I'll see you let sometime later in the day. All right, in the morning, in the early morning, in the uh, during the daylight. All right. Y'all be groovy January 17th, 2023. Wacky Weather Man here. So there it is. Um, all right, y'all. Be groovy.